Hey, what's going on? This is Justin with wingsound.com. Please send over any questions, comments, or video suggestions you may have via email, justin at wingsound.com, or through your webcam. Just go to the site and click submit. This video I'm gonna show you is an overview of the quick start menu in Pro Tools 8. So when you first open Pro Tools 8 LE edition, you get this quick start menu. So the first thing we'll look at here is create blank session. So this is very important. You can choose your audio file type, AIF, WAV, SD2, your sample rate, 44.1K, 48K, and your bit depth, 16, 24 bit. And then you could also choose your IO settings, last use, stereo mix, and you got some control 24 stuff there you can choose. And then any other IO settings that you create in Pro Tools, let's say if you have a surround mix or something like that, will be there as well. So this is very important because this is going to be whatever your session is like your final outcome. So if you want it for a CD, you want it 16-bit, 44.1. You know, if you're working with a lot of WAV files, you want it to be WAV and so on. You know, this is very important because when you bounce your final track, it's going to be whatever you set your session to AIF, 16 bit, 441K, et cetera. You get the idea, but like I said, really important. Next thing we'll look at is create session from template. So now Pro Tools LE8 you know, has some templates already created for you. You have podcasting, window configurations under miscellaneous. When you open the drop down menu, you have guitar, you have a bunch of stuff for guitar, ballad, blues, metal, rock low CPU usage stuff, music, you know, drum and bass, electronica, funk, hip hop, record mix. You got a bunch of those options there and songwriter stuff. So, you know, this is really good because if you have a, a way that you work all the time and you've created a template for, let's say, hip hop or for pop or whatever, once you make those templates, they'll be in this drop down menu where you can click and choose them and you'll be able to get going on your session really fast. Next thing we'll look at is open recent session. So whatever recent sessions that you've worked on, they'll be in this little area where you can choose them. So if it's something that you've been working on for the past couple of days, you want to get right back to it, just go to open. You can always get in touch with Justin at wingsound.com and check out more of Justin's videos, including these titles featuring the new Pro Tools 8, now available on demand at wingsound.com.